The forests of Papua in Indonesia are part of the world's third largest remaining tropical wilderness. These forests harbour unique wildlife and provide livelihoods for vulnerable communities. All this is changing. A quarter of Papua's forests have been lost in the last 12 years. The timber that grows here is in great demand. Murbao is the main wood targeted by timber traders. To combat illegal logging, a log and sawn timber export ban has been implemented. Since 2005, the Indonesian government has launched a series of enforcement operations focused on Papua. Yet huge profits and corruption mean that Merbau smuggling continues. EIA and Telepak investigations in the Indonesian port of Makassar and Surabaya reveal some of the main culprits. The seized containers were shipped from Makassar by the company Minara Mass. A junior employee is given a two-year sentence. The owner of the company, Henki Gossel, had an alibi and was not charged. The logs came from this company in Makassar, run by Gossel's brother. EIA and Telepak investigators posing as timber buyers, met with Gossel in May 2010. He admitted smuggling large amounts of illegal merbau and bribing customs officers. Everything stopped. Really? Yeah, because red line from the custom. Yeah, yeah. Cannot. Cannot out. Before we can give some, some money, then we can yeah, across the custom. Why, why, why suddenly like that? You know, I mean, when the leader custom changes, then uh, come the new person coming, then a new regulation coming again. So you get problem, yeah? Yeah, I get problem. So before you can still supply? Uh, before I have sent so many. You didn't send? Uh, yeah. How many container do you send? Uh, China. One, one. 40 to 50 container in one month before right? one month mm. yes, yes thank you it's nice to understand now how yes. it all works together okay thank um, you thanks for being in touch yeah? Gossel is still in business and the authorities have failed to fully investigate this case This shipment was arranged by Surabaya Trading, owned by Ricky Gunawan, a well-known smuggler. EIA and Telepak investigators met Gunawan in 2006, when he boasted of smuggling illegal Merbau Square logs or flitches. This information was provided to the Indonesian authorities. No action was taken. Instead, in 2008, Gunawan was given special export permits for mobile flitches, 
to be used in earthquake reconstruction projects in China. EIA and Telepay discovered that these shipments were in fact sold to wood factories in China. The following year, in 2009, nine containers of Gunawan's Merbel was seized. However, these were released after interventions by politicians and government officials. Gunawan is well known to fellow smugglers. In 2010, EIA and Telepak met the boss of So Timber in Singapore. He confirmed Gunawan is still active. For five years, the untouchable Gunawan has been smuggling mobile flitches out of Surabaya and getting away with it. Ung of So Timber also trades with Henke Gossel. He showed EIA and Telepak investigators illegal Indonesian mobile in his warehouse. When sourcing his Merbao, Ng has little regard for the origin of his timber. China is the main destination for illicit Indonesian Merbao. Here, it is processed into flooring, stairs and doors often sold onto the international market. EIA and Telepak calls on the Indonesian authorities to fully investigate the criminal activities of Ricky Gunawan and Henki Gossel. Indonesia should also restrict trade in Merbau to help protect Papua's remaining forests and the communities which rely on them.